Late night in Manila. Night in Manila, oh, hi. Philippines. I'm currently walking Going alone there, on Mabina Street in the Ermita district of Manila, Philippines. Manila has many security oh. issues, but I think it's become safer than it used to be. When I traveled here 20 years ago, it felt like a very dangerous city, but now it doesn't feel so dangerous. Still, you should never let your guard down. Even now, incidents occasionally occur on Mabina Street. 20 years ago, there were many beggars and several juvenile criminal organizations. They're still there now, but they're not very noticeable. I think the city of Manila has changed a lot, especially in the last 10 years. Today is Saturday, March 30th, 2024. The Philippines is currently enjoying a four-day national holiday. The summer vacation season begins on April 1st, and it is the hottest time of the year. Mabina Avenue, a typical road that runs through Manila, runs north and south and roughly divides the area into the Ermita and Malay districts. The area to the south, where it intersects with Pedro Gil Avenue, a road that runs east to west, is called Malate, while the area to the north is called Ermita. In the Malate area of Mabina Avenue, there are many touts for clubs and bars who will try to lure you in. The prices are all similar, but KTVs with lots of girls on staff are particularly popular. The average price is around $70 for a 90-minute set with all you can drink. It all depends on how much you drink, so it can cost even more if you're generous. Mabina Street, where I am walking now, is in the Ermita district. If I go straight, I will reach the Malate district, but I feel that the security there is safer than the Ermita district. This is because there are many stores in the Malate district, so it is bright with neon lights. In comparison, the Ermita district is darker because there are fewer neon lights in the stores. I'm only talking about Mabina Street, but... ました。I first came to Manila in May 2005. That was about 20 years ago. The first hotel I stayed at in Manila was the City State Tower. It's the area I'm walking around right now. I feel very nostalgic, but a lot has changed around here. This place has live bands and used to be a place where men and women could meet, but I'm not sure if it's still there now. Now, I can see the City State Tower Hotel on my left. This is the hotel where I stayed in 2005. There is a casino inside the hotel. There is also a travel agency where you can buy tickets to Puerto Galera. To get to Puerto Galera, first there is a bus that leaves from in front of the hotel every morning and goes directly to the Batangas Pier. Once you arrive at Batangas Pier, you can take a boat to Puerto Galera. Tickets to Puerto Galera are sold at the travel agency near the hotel front desk. The bus departs every day at 8.30 a.m. Uh, 
ガーデンのところを見に行くとねこっちはねあれ交通工のはずがあそうだよね G ポイントがあります G ポイント G ポイント久しぶりに乗ってます If you walk straight down this road, you will come across a live music bar on your right. It's called G Point. Live music starts at 11 p.m. and the place is bustling with young people. Most of the customers are from Australia. Once the music starts, it's a great opportunity for men and women to meet. Opposite the bar is the famous restaurant, Kamayan. Marcelo H. Del Pilar Street, also known as M. H. Del Pilar Street or simply Del Pilar Street, is a north south road running for 1.895 km 1.177 miles connecting Ermita and Malate districts in Manila, Philippines. It is a two lane street which carries traffic one way southbound from Cala Avenue in Rizal Park to Quirino Avenue just across from the Hospital in Manila. It was formerly called Calle Real. In recent years, since the change of President Duterte, the security situation in the Philippines has improved, but I hear that it may be worsening again. In fact, the COVID 19 pandemic over the past few years has increased the number of unemployed people and homeless people, which has led to a worsening security situation. Compared to other countries, the security situation in the Philippines is not very good, so those who have never traveled abroad should be especially careful. People who get into trouble often have a low sense of crisis, so please make sure to manage your risks properly. There are few people around Del Pilar Street, so it is best to be careful. At night, there have been cases of people being threatened with a gun or other weapon in the back alleys around the downtown area and having their valuables stolen. As the perpetrator may be carrying a weapon, please prioritize your personal safety and do not resist. If you resist too much, the perpetrator will likely attack you.
I walked straight down Del Pilar Street and a church came into view. This is Ermita Church. The Archdiocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Guidance, also known as Ermita Shrine or Ermita Church is a shrine located in the district of Ermita in the city of Manila, Philippines. The church is home to the Marian image of the Immaculate Concepcion known as Nuestra Señora de Guia, which is considered to be oldest in the Philippines, and in whose honor the church is officially named after and dedicated to. The church began as a rustic shrine made of bamboo, nipa, and molave wood that was built to house the image of Our Lady of Guidance in the area where it was found in 1571 by Spanish soldiers under Miguel López de Legazpi. The shrine eventually became a chapel built in 1606 as house for the image and was called La Hermita, Hermitage, in English. 5. The word also gave the name to the present district in Manila where the chapel is located. A Mexican hermit priest came to the area and built an hermitage there, thus, transforming its name to Ermita. Juan Fernandez de Leon who was a hermit from Mexico before relocating to Manila, was responsible for building Hermita up. This is the Australian Swagman Hotel, but it no longer exists. Apparently it closed a few years ago. And now we're at the basketball court. Basketball is popular in the Philippines. It's currently midnight, and they're practicing at this time. The Philippines is generally a hot country, and right now it's summer, the hottest time of the year. It's blazing hot during the day. As a result, it's common for sports and physical labor that make you sweat to be done in the early morning or late at night. Midnight. The quiet Ermita district. I'm really nervous.
As I walked straight ahead, I saw some neon signs. It seemed to be a music bar. There was something creepy about the rows of bars standing quietly there. This was all the more so as there was no one around. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel.